Welcome back to the Hit Squad. I'm Chad Range. He's Jesse Finney. This segment brought to you by Butterball Turkey. I'm going to be devouring one on Thursday. Can't <laughs> wait for that. And one on uh, Christmas as well. So we'll, uh, we're still looking for a full-time sponsor on this. We're always uh, wanting Three one. out of four segments are taken. That's right. You better move now. It won't be long here. And it won't be long for a guy by the name of Lance Benoit. He is a UFC fighter, a guy you know well. Uh, he had a he had a little setback, broke his leg, but he's getting uh, getting back up to speed. I mean, talk about this guy. Man, the kid's a superstar in the making. He really is. I mean, he, if you've seen Lance fight in the past, there's one thing you know about Lance Benoist. He's going to come hard at you. He's going to come out to bang it, and you're always going to get your money's worth. You know, these are the guys that I'd like to see on tonight's card or on Saturday's card instead of a 2-0 <laughs> girl. Someone like Lance is <laughs> That's a guy a great that point. should be on TV, just that has about earned it. his way on the TV, not with two girls that are 2-0. and zero. You know, guys like this is what the, what everyone's gonna get their. You know what? You put this guy on TV in a free in a free show, and then all of a sudden he becomes a superstar. I was gonna say, he's okay. Gonna Instead of fans. putting girls that are on that are two and zero, you get a guy like this when he fought Matt Riddle. Wow, the, the, everything came apart. So, One fight I mean, of the night on that. Now. Yes, absolutely, and lots of money, buddy. That's what it's about, baby. That's when it when it when it boils down to it, it's all about the Benjamins. We actually have Lance Benoit on the line. Uh, Lance, you there with us? Hi over here. What's going on, guys? Very cool. Hey, just talk about kind of where you are and uh, what you're hoping for as far as getting back into the UFC. You don't have anything uh, slated, I believe, as of yet. But just talk about your you're in the process of getting things lined out. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you know, I've I've seen all the doctors and done all that, and you know they they've given me a go. I still have a little bit of pain in it, but I, I'm definitely mean, I'm pushing through it all, and I've definitely been revving up the training and everything, you know, and really looking forward just to showing everybody and the this sport's so quick to forget about you you know but uh i'm looking forward to getting my name tossed around again and showing everybody how talented i really am lance this is jesse here tell me a little bit how you got started mixed martial arts and where do you want to take this whole thing uh you know me how i got started in it it's going to sound really cheesy but i, I was a big fan of uh jean-claude van damme movies to be honest and uh I always just wanted to do it, and uh, it turned out I was pretty good at it, and uh, I had an opportunity when I was younger just to start in Taekwondo. I knew it wasn't going to necessarily get me where I wanted to go, but it was uh, it was a start in something, and I never looked back. I was I was really good at it. And how old are you right now? Uh, I turned 25 in August, so, yeah, and I never expected to be the age I was fighting in the UFC, so it's been a bit of a learning process, but... I definitely know I'm smarter about it than I've ever been, and, and I hope it shows next time I, I compete. For a 25-year-old, Lance, talk about, you know, kind of your rise to the UFC. You get fight of the night versus Matt Riddle, and then all of a sudden you kind of have a setback, and, you know, you're working your way back, and like you said, you know, talk about the people who are instrumental on getting you kind of back on the horse. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been... I mean, it, it's been a hard road, you know, setbacks, it happens, but that's that's part of it. I, uh, Like I said, I never expected to, to be my age fighting in the UFC, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. It all, it all happens so fast, you know, and it's a, it's a big jump in the level of competition, but that's I'm happy for that. I only want to fight the best, but uh, it's, a, it's a big part of, of teams and my coaches and everything in terms of, of getting me ready and getting me back in there. But uh, one thing, like I said, I, I know I'm smarter about than I've ever been in the past is really really making sure I'm doing the right things I need to be doing and that the people that I trust around me are doing everything they need to be doing. So it's just a matter of holding people accountable for the things they need to be doing and taking my responsibility and my own part to, to prepare myself for these fights. So like so, I said, I, I look forward to it. I hope it shows next time. I, I'm definitely smarter about it than I was at 22. Lance, I, I've got a question. If you could go and say, listen, I, I, I've got to be on... Fox Sports 1, and I've got a guy that you, I know that I can make a dream fight with that you're going to come out and you're going to become a superstar. With your style and your matchup, who would it be in the UFC to 170 pounds? Oh, my. Uh, Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's a tough question. I'd have to think about it. Uh, Tyron sounds pretty good. I don't know. I'm, I say that because I hope he's listening. That'd be funny, but... No, I don't know. Uh, you know, I I'd love to fight anybody. I've always liked Dan Hardy. I don't know something about his his. Uh, I guess it's his accent. I wouldn't mind fighting that guy. I think it'd be an exciting fight. I really do it between our two styles. Well, while you're talking about him, Lance, talk about Tyron. He just had a huge victory. Talk about how yeah. you're how excited you are to see someone like that and know that hey, you may be right there behind him here shortly. 
Oh, absolutely. I'm uh, I'm proud of him. I am, and uh, you know he deserves it. And uh, that's he approached the fight the way he needed to, and I'm sure he's learning just like everybody else is. But yeah, I it's exciting, especially a guy coming from this area. And uh, I know I am. I'm right there behind him. I just like I said, I, you know, injuries and other things. It's so quick to to kind of fall out of the spotlight. But I I, I look forward to every chance I have, and I know I can get my name thrown around there with people again. Well, mm-hmm. well, Lance. You know, here in the in the near future, what 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 can, what can we expect to see from Lance Benoist? Excitement. That's why I like to think I still have a job. I mean, I uh, I'm certainly excited when I fight, like you said, Jesse. So, and that's what it should be about, anyway. You know, excitement. And that's what it's all about in the fans. So, I would be looking forward to that always. Just real quick, how old were you when you got your first UFC shot there? I was. I had just turned 22 when I fought uh, in New Orleans against Matt Riddle. Wow, that's unbelievable. We appreciate it, uh, Lance. We really look forward to seeing what unfolds for you here in the future. I have a feeling 2014, uh, Lance Benoist is going to become a little more of a common name we're talking about here yeah, on this absolutely. show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks Good a lot for, for joining us, Lance. Thank you guys for having me. You have a great day. You too. Thank you. St. Louis is on. I like it. He wants a hometown battle against Tyron Wood. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That was a good stop. Um, I, you stumped him on that one. Who would you like to see Lance oh, fight on the man. 170? Someone you could really, like, put him show on the mat. Yeah, exactly. And show, I mean, you say he's an exciting fighter. So you know what I'd like to see him fight? I'd like to see Lance Noyce and Patrick Cote. There you go. Uh, yeah. That's a good name for Lance. I think that that's a good stylistic matchup for Lance as well. Uh, Lance is, he's an exciting guy. Patrick Cote is an exciting guy. Yeah, yeah. Let's see him. Let's see what can happen. And I think that's a great fight for Lance Benoist. Unbelievable. 22 years old getting his shot there. He 22. Is, yeah. He, well, now he's 25. He's in, in, in a guy who I think we're going to hear a lot from. Uh, he's hoping maybe in February, early next uh, year, 2014, be looking for the name. Lance Benoist, he's 6-2. and two, He's from St. Louis. Also a little, uh, one, since we're talking about the UFC, John Jones, Glover Teixeira, they're not going to be fighting as they thought they were in February. There's not been an injury. There's not really been a reason, but it's probably going to get pushed to March. Method behind the madness. I'm interested. Never guess. Never yeah, second guess yeah, the boys. The, and is that John Jones that you wouldn't? Or I uh, wouldn't say. I'm talking UFC. You're the guys with all the money. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. you're thinking it maybe they're maybe setting up another card where that would be loaded with people, and that'd be interesting to see. Yes. And as you say, don't second guess. They're, they seem to be doing something right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Well, coming up next, we're gonna be tackling the knuckle junkies question that's happening right here on 101Sports.com.